Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you, we're having a little issue with the computer. Um, it doesn't want to turn on, and I'm going to show you what it does. When you push the button here, it'll flash, but it won't come on. Uh, this is a power supply failure, and we would actually had this happen about a year and a half ago, and I ordered a replacement power supply off of eBay, and it was just a used one, uh, that cost us probably about 10 or $12. So um, I'm going to show you how to open this up to do the repair. Uh, this is a Gateway 507GR computer um, and it is probably from about 2001 so it's a good uh, about 12 or 13 years old. Um, it is uh, just the family computer for getting on the internet and we're going to keep it going with new power supply so I'm going to show you how to um, uh, do this. You're first going to want to disconnect all the wires and your power supply from the back of the computer uh, by taking it out of the cabinet. So I'm going to do that and then show you how to proceed. Okay, we've taken this out of the cabinet and uh, you're just going to want to dust it all off and you're going to have to probably vacuum it out or dust it on the inside as well. Uh, this has been in the cabinet for a few months and this is one of the dustier rooms in the house. So you've got these thumb screws on this um, side here, and that's going to remove this side panel. So we're just going to take those out and set them aside. Okay, so for ease of sliding this cover off, um, this tab here keeps you from uh, preventing you from lifting it off, so you have to slide it this way on this model. Now, <clears throat> if you've got some good nails, you might need some tools. You just have to pull back. I'm just going to pry this towards me a little bit. There we go. That was a flathead screwdriver. There you go. Now that's the inside panel. You can see it's a little dusty, so we'll make sure we clean that. And this unit here is your power supply box, and that's right where your power cord gets plugged in. And it is held in here by just these four screws, so you can use a nut driver or a Phillips screwdriver to remove those. So we're just going to do that next. Now to find out uh, which power supply you need as a replacement, you can do a Google search on your serial number and um, model number. And then there's several harnessing wires holding this um, all together. So I'm just going to lift this out. Have to find. So we've taken the power supply out. As you can see, there's lots of uh, cords that hook up to different things here. There were two that hooked up to the um, disk drives. One here, which I'm uh, not real sure what everything is here, but I'm just trying to help you with where everything goes. There was one here, and it is a 22-pin uh, um, power cord is what we're going to look for, and then another one here. So that's where everything came off of. Uh, it's kind of dusty in here. So we are going to take an uh, air compressor or you can take canned air and blow this out. And that will keep everything functioning very well. Uh, this Cooler Master fan is sucking air in. Uh, I thought maybe it was pulling it out, which it could be. Uh, but the dust accumulation uh, underneath around here is very heavy. So we're going to clean that all out. Uh, here is our serial number, there's a part number, and then um, the model number. So we're going to look up under the model number and this part number uh, for our power supply and uh, find out what the actual part number is for our box. So we'll do a Google search for that. 
Okay, so we're back at the um, computer. I picked up my part. This is the one that I took out. And you can see here, um, this was just something that I'd gotten off of eBay for a real good deal. So it got us by for about a year and a half, but it failed. Uh, it's a 400 watt, and then it says that it's 115 volt or 230 volt. Uh, there was no model number on this. Fortunately, I had saved my original, and my original said it was a Best Tech. And then there's the model number there. Uh, ATX 300-12EB3. So I took this, uh, I made a couple phone calls. I found some replacements on eBay, but it was going to take a week to get here. So I went um, into Lansing, which is a little ways away for us, and I picked um, this one up. It is a top power supply and this is a um, 500 watt so they said that my fan will run less and it comes with every possible uh, cord combination because there are these types here and then the pin connectors so this can be a 20 or a 24 pin hook up because this slides out here so we're just going to install this and get us running. So I've just wedged that into place. I haven't uh, installed the screws yet. You've got your 24 pin connector. That plugs into your motherboard. got these plugs here. They give you uh, multiples on there. Sometimes you have um, additional things that you need to plug here. Uh, they've informed me to use the first plug. Okay. Extras. And uh, I did take this out and blow it out before I am blow doing this repair. Out. So we've got these. Blow it out. We're only needing one of them. Blow it out. Pull it out, yeah. Okay. Blow it out. Blow it out. Bye. Boom. Now there's that one. And then on this last cord, you want to use the two closest to the end. And this is for your disk drive. Okay, now I'm just going to anchor this in with the screws. Uh, the nice thing about this one, uh, it was a uh, 500 watt. They included a replacement power cord. And I was able to get it today. So I paid the little extra. It was $45 on line for a 430 watt with free shipping on eBay. This one is 500 watt and it was 59 And because we use our computer for the farm a lot and running our business, uh, we were able to get a uh, tax exemption on that. So I always ask for that. So that's that. Now I'll just put my cover back on the top. And 
it's just going to slide on there. And then replace our thumb screws here and we're all set. So this is the computer back up and running as you can see with all my other mess and clutter. Um, the power supply is in and running. This is the top brand. That's as loud as it gets. My other one about sounded like a jet engine ever since we put it in new and it ran constantly trying to cool and keep it up because the fan was so small. So I'm real happy with this. The whole total repair didn't take me a half an hour with all the errors uh, of little kids running in and out. I didn't have one connector cable hooked up real well so I didn't have power uh, to my keyboard. So of course, you know, then we had to take the keyboard apart and clean it and now we have power to the keyboard you can see. So nice little save there and we are all good to go and I am happy again. So thanks for watching the video everybody. Subscribe, ask questions, and refer your friends.